Welcome back to the channel guys. So if you're new here, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I got an awesome video for you here today. So I wanted to show you this real quick. So this is my chicken coop. As you see, there are no chickens in it. So I had some, some type of animal get in here, bust through it, most likely a coyote. We're gonna be getting back to this guy though. Today, we're going to be heading over to my buddy Sam's house. He's got a coyote problem out there too. Alright guys, so things are just settling down now. We already know where these cars mainly run because we have trail cameras out. Um, actually, here's a few shots of the trail cam pictures. So yeah, they kind of just run on along that fence line there. So we're pretty much going to be just out of the woods there. We're kind of sitting up on along the pond. Um, you guys will see it in the morning. So as you guys saw there, really unsuccessful this first morning. Uh, my camera died. Rain's starting to come down now. Okay guys, so I'm currently editing this video right now and we did end up hunting for four days straight. But on the first day we got rained out, the second day we call in a double, but they stay out at like 190 yards and I never get a shot at them. Then day three, we went out, got a decoy, put that out there, see if we could get them on the other side of that fence row. but wasn't happening called one in stayed on that side in the brush and day four we end up making this change that you guys are about to see into the field just to the right of where we were hunting so then we're in the field that they're coming into why we didn't start out doing that i don't know Alright guys, so as you guys saw, I clearly missed. Uh, I thought I drilled them. By the time I realized that, that was just the dirt behind them. Like, the coyote was long gone before I even had one racked again. So disappointed. Me and Sam have been hunting hard for the past, what is this, day four of hunting? Yeah, he's been getting up with me at real early in the morning to get set up here. We got a different spot, we got a different, we got a different angle from what we had before and it worked out great. Everything worked out everyone did their jobs besides me which I want to throw up because of it but you know that was my first that was the first time I ever missed a coyote drilled every single one Pennsylvania New York New Jersey every single coyote I've ever aimed at I've drilled I do uh, like I don't even know what to say you know we called in those other ones I didn't pull the trigger on them you know the angles weren't right you know there was brush in the way and the other one I didn't want to educate them so I didn't pull the trigger. I hope this one had its pen and paper out because I just educated the shit out of them. You know, I will say the decoy worked. You know, that was a new added one. I never hunted with decoy. I could never get them called into a field. I'd always get them to the field edge and they'd sit and kind of look around. That decoy, he was, he was ready to go. He was on it. So, yeah. I kind of feel like this was the Super Bowl. First down. Throw an interception. That's that's literally how I feel right now. I want to throw up. I do want to show you guys exactly why we're trying to cut down on these coyotes. They got a bunch of chickens, you know, and these are all free range chickens. They're free to do whatever they want, whenever they want. So, but sometimes they get into trouble with these coyotes. I think in total, they lost something like 30 chickens this year. So we're just trying to cut down on those numbers. All right, guys, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the line next time. Would any of you guys like to make a comment on the coyotes that are reaping havoc on your chicken coop? Any comments? No? Sir, how about a shout out? Don't you guys care? <laughs>